but thanks to COVID, young, both young and older Australians are ditching the paper dosh and opting for a digital wallet instead. And although it's predicted to become the most popular way to pay, does it stack up on convenience and safety? Lara Vella reports. And a wallet for your money. Remember the days when your cash, cards, tickets and phone numbers were stuffed into a single wallet? Look at you. You're on a slant. Traditional wallets are a thing of the past. The digital wallet is here to stay. So what exactly is a digital wallet? A digital wallet is a single location, a single app, if you like, on your phone where all of your cards are kept. Credit cards, transit cards, loyalty cards. On an iPhone, it's Apple Wallet. On, a, on an Android phone like a Samsung or otherwise, it's a thing called Google Pay. And in the COVID age of contactless and cash-free, more and more Australians are going digital. With figures from the Commonwealth Bank showing a 90% increase in the number of digital monthly transactions from March last year to this year. Pretty confident that based on the current trends, we will see one in every two contactless in-store transactions being on a digital wallet by the end of the year. And if you think it's just for tap and go payments, think again. A lot of people don't realise you can download a Medicare app onto your phone using your MyGov login and your card number appears on your smartphone. Service New South Wales in, in New South Wales, Victoria, Queensland, Western Australia, everyone has adopted the QR code reader and that app in New South Wales is also your digital licence, it's your fishing licence, it's all those things. So we're going to see more and more digital licences using that same system as we're now using for QR codes. As for all those loyalty cards you're holding on to? Well, now there's apps for that. The App Store Card, which is an Aussie app, allows you to put all of your existing loyalty cards, just barcodes, just membership numbers, into an app which you can carry around with you in your smartphone. So has carrying a wallet become more of a hassle than an essential? We're going to put it to the test on the commute to work. Trevor Long is here. I've just got my phone. And I've got my old school wallet. Let's give it a go. First, catching public transport. I'll see you on the train. My wallet won't be a second. I'll just find my card. Wait, Trev. I'm going to miss the train. OK, Trevor, which app did you use? I'm using the Opal app, so the actual system that's used by the transport here are testing an app that actually integrates directly with Apple Pay. So I've just got to tap like I would anywhere with my digital wallet and my Opal card works on the trains. However, it's not so simple in Victoria, with MyKey app payments compatible only on Android phones and tap-and-go credit card payments at this stage unavailable. While in Queensland, smart ticketing trials are underway to allow for contactless payment but won't be fully implemented until 2022. So for now, you'll still need a physical card. Time for the morning coffee run. I'm going to attempt to pay with cash. May I get a small soy cappuccino, please? I'm sorry, we don't do cash, we only do card. Can I get a piccolo, thanks? No worries. 317, please. Thank you. Is it normal nowadays, Trevor, for places like this to say they're cashless? I think it's becoming more and more common, especially with COVID, when we had the whole people touching cash. So. We're using our cards more. And then don't forget that places like this, this cafe here, Cali Press, they have a reward scheme. So you can have an app where you can actually get rewards, earn points, get free coffees. That's becoming more common too. Finally, the most important question. Is a digital wallet safe? Yes, very safe. So if you think about it, when you're paying with your phone, you're having a biometric authentication. So it's either your face that's unlocking your phone or your device, or you're putting your fingerprint on, or your passcode in. So it's a very secure method to be paying with. I think the older generation were most hesitant about any of this technology, but because they've adopted things like the QR code check-in, they've now got the smartphone. So now it's just a matter of taking your bank card, add it to your digital wallet, and just give it a go. It's safer, it's more secure, and it's so easy to do. We're only at the very start of this. Everything will be digital and will be on your smartphone in the future. Wow, I learned a lot in that. Do you have everything on your phone? I've only got, like, I've got three cards, um, my two licences and um, my Medicare. That's all there. Why have you got two licences? Two well, different I've got, names? I've got a boat licence um, and oh, also yeah. a motorbike licence and a, you know, car, car licence. Yeah, from old yeah, school. Right. Yeah, right. Because I don't do that. I still carry the wallet. Mm. And use the credit card and... And you can't drive anymore, so there's and no need for a licence. Um, we'll be able to drive soon. I can drive now. I can drive now. <laughs> anyway. It's a brave new world. you just got to be a little bit careful around it. I always wonder if I've got it open and if you go past something and tap something, I always get a bit nervous that you're getting overcharged. So yeah. I think just keep your eye on your transactions. And transactions. Yeah. Good advice there. Uncle Carlos. <laughs> <laughs>